It was the last day of eighth grade when Miss Finn, my English teacher, walks in with a basket full of freshly baked, home-baked chocolate chip cookies. She walks up and down the aisles, handing them to the students, wishing them a good summer. And when she gets to me and the basket is in front of me, I am in awe. Yeah, because I have a sweet tooth, but mostly because I had never heard or seen a homemade cookie. Now, I ate home-cooked meals at home, but we never did much baking. If my oven was on, it was because there was a pork roast roasting and it was the holiday season. When I left the Dominican Republic to come to the Bronx, I was nine. Through my neighborhood bodega, I was introduced to the world of processed foods, and I wholeheartedly embraced it. Because we didn't do a lot of baking at home, I was under the impression that a way to a cookie was through a bodega trip, and the only thing between me and those baked goods was 25 cents and a few layers of packaging. All the things that I bought for just $1. So when Ms. Finn said that she baked those cookies at home that day in eighth grade, I didn't even know that was possible. Miss, you really made these? How'd you make these? Yeah, I made them. She was a little annoyed. With flour, sugar, eggs, butter, chocolate chips. If she only knew how those six words changed my life. Flour, sugar, eggs, butter, chocolate chips. <laughs> she blew my mind. She gave me the parts of what I thought you needed to have a factory and own a food production company like Keebler or uh, Nabisco to actually make it happen. She made it at home. She gave me the simple ingredients of a chocolate chip cookie and it was so simple, I had to try it. And I tried it. And I haven't stopped trying since, y'all. <laughs> that summer, I baked. I baked a lot. I also cooked. I took a stab at making everything and anything that I loved. I understood that the things that I loved, they were just collections and pieces of very attainable parts. I understood that the only thing between me and the foods that I loved were a recipe and a few simple ingredients. By the time that I graduated high school, I wanted to change the world, and I didn't think I could do it through food. So I took a job at the IT corporation for some time, and the bottom line was someone else's, was someone else's pocket, and I'm like, eh, I felt empty at the end of the day. So I decided to go off to college and pursue a more altruistic career. I'd be a teacher or a therapist, I thought. But when I graduated college, my conviction deepened to go back to my own community. And I came back with a vengeance, knowing and feeling like my work was right where I started. My work was back in the South Bronx. I started working with an agency that did juvenile justice. And I worked with families and young people that were impacted by the justice system. And after some time, I started to realize that our problems and our woes, our troubles, they were far bigger than the justice system. They were bigger than our uh, healthcare system. They were bigger than our child welfare system, than our educational system. And food, food was intertwined all throughout. Processed foods and fast foods, they're robbing our communities. They're robbing our communities from real ingredients and real food. They're robbing us of our health. They're robbing us of opportunities to build with one another at the table and they're robbing us of our cultural heritage and our identity. Because we now eat food that we can buy for a dollar, y'all. I also realized that food was a powerful vehicle for change. Food had the power to heal, to mend, to restore, literally and figuratively. Maybe. Maybe I can change the world through food. I took on a year with Food Corps because I, I want to connect the kids in my community to real food and real ingredients, the way it should be, the way it's meant to be, the way that they have a right to be. I want my kids to realize that the only thing standing between them and the food that they want to eat shouldn't be plastic wrappers and cardboard boxes. It's just a recipe and a few simple ingredients. I hope that my kids, the kids that I've been working with this year, I hope they realize and have an aha moment like I did 
when I was in eighth grade with Miss Finn and that chocolate chip cookie. Thank you. <laughs>